The International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda has delivered its final judgments on those behind the 1994 genocide. The court confirmed guilty verdicts on six people for crimes against humanity. It's now closing after two decades. And during that time, it's convicted 61 people. Sami Awami reports. All right. It's a last entrance into this room. After two decades of hearing horrific details of testaments, the session marks the end of what came to be known as international justice. The trial chamber found Taco Bali guilty of genocide, extermination and persecution as crimes against humanity. These are part of a handful of convicts that the court has been criticized for dealing with in its 20 years of existence. But it hasn't been an easy ride. While it often faced the challenge of finding witnesses willing to testify, the court has had a difficult time securing cooperation of member states in arresting some of the fugitives it has been looking for. Right from the establishment of this court, critiques saw that this was just a guilty conscience of international community to say because we couldn't intervene and stop the genocide, let's now help and punish the crime. But now that the court is closing down, can the international community look back and be satisfied that justice has been served? But given time and resources invested, critics argue the court could have done more. I feel that this, this, the, the tribunal leans a lot more against the accused persons in many ways, you know, in terms of their rights, in terms of the change of rules. Um, we have, um, I have witnessed the amendments to the rules from the very beginning. And the rules are amended continuously to the detriment of accused persons. Its supporters, on the other hand, say the court has achieved quite a lot based on the core objectives it was established for. The tribunal had an enormous mandate. It has succeeded in large part, uh, like any a human endeavor, 100% uh, is virtually never achieved. Many at Randis have felt that the court almost didn't bring any closure. You can't talk about national reconciliation in any process, in any scenario or community which has undergone strife like what happened in Rwanda without laying the basic fundamental principles of justice, making sure that justice is done and seen by everybody to be done. And this is what we have been do doing throughout the, all these years. During its two decades of existence, the court indicted 93 Rwandese, of which 61 people were convicted of genocide and 14 others acquitted on appeals. Samia Wami, BBC News, Arusha, Tanzania.